Are all Europeans the same? You know, sometimes we think they are, but are they? Oh, there's some surprises there, too. Uh, how is someone qualified to identify the race of the Egyptians from statues? Well, uh, that question has no real answer. Uh, whether or not statues, once again, accurately depict the people uh, that they represent is a very interesting question. Now, I have a slide, but unfortunately I don't have it with me. Well, I have it with me, but I don't have it there. Of, of some individuals who were depicted with little statues. And then when they reconstructed their bodies, and this is from southern Egypt, the people looked totally different from the statues. The statues had them looking, uh, let's say, stereotypically, say, what we might think of northern Egyptians. But when they actually reconstructed the people uh, from their mummies, I mean, from their, their skeletons, and they did sort of forensic type analysis, the people looked just for what you might expect from, from upper Egypt. I mean, they had different kind of set of facial features that uh, some people would say are, quote, more African. Although, as I want to point out, that the Somali with a nose narrower than the Swedes and uh, uh, a certain kind of facial profile is just as African as Kwame Nkrumah or, uh, you know, Sidney Poitier, you know, what have you. A geologist said that the Sphinx is much older than generally thought. Can the skeleton can with radiocarbon dating? Although, uh, I don't know that that's been done. Were they African people? Yes, they were African people. Again, that doesn't mean that they had any one particular set of physical traits, you know, but they were African people. The, any ideas that the people who built the pyramids came from Mars or came from, uh, you know, Babylonia can be simply dismissed.